79-year-old male with a history of an asymptomatic hiatal hernia presented with abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. On exam, patient was tachycardic and tender with an elevated white count and lipase. An initial x-ray revealed a large hiatal hernia without free air, and unfortunately, patient was treated for pancreatitis for two days until he deteriorated. Repeat x-ray now revealed free air. CAT scan confirmed the free air in the mediastinum with large amounts of contamination, and at this point, surgery was consulted to evaluate the patient. Patient was subsequently taken for an emergent laparoscopic parasophageal hernia repair, which turned out to be a total gastrectomy. Here we see large amounts of contamination above the right liver. Adhesions in the left upper quadrant from previous surgeries are taken down using the harmonic scalpel. Here we identify the lesser sac and as we get into it we encounter some contamination. Omental attachments to the stomach and surrounding structures are gently dissected using the harmonic scalpel in order to try and reduce the stomach. As we encounter necrotic stomach, gentle traction and careful dissection of the attachments allows us to slowly reduce the stomach. Additional attachments on the lateral aspect of the stomach are taken down. The dissection is carried superiorly toward the hiatus. Here we identify the right cruise. A plane is created on the edge of the right cruise using the harmonic scalpel and the dissection is carried toward the superior edge of the hiatus. Here we see gentle traction on the omentum in order to reduce it from the hiatus and the slow reduction and detachment of the omentum allows for further reduction of the stomach. As we reduce the stomach, it is appearing more and more ischemic. The short gastrics are also taken down using the harmonic scalpel. The dissection is carried superiorly towards the angle of his. The decision was made to decompress the partly necrotic stomach in order to facilitate with the dissection. As the stomach is manipulated, we see a large perforation in the posterior aspect of the stomach. The hole is covered with a stoden grasper and gently retracted for further dissection. Harmonic scalpel is used to take down the posterior attachments. Attachments to the left cruise are also taken down using the harmonic scalpel. The proximal duodenum is freed from its attachments to create a window for our distal transection. The transaction is carried out using the endo GIA stapler. The duodenal stump is subsequently covered with an omental patch.
here is the unique ability of the laparoscopic approach to being able to take down attachments within the mediastinum with relative ease. The hernia sac on the left side is further divided and dissected away from the stomach. Healthy appearing distal esophagus is prepared for transection, once again using the endogii. A standard peg tube was placed in the distal esophagus for drainage, secured with a purse string suture. Two blake drains were also placed in the mediastinum for external drainage. On post-op day number two, patient underwent a laparoscopic washout and the placement of a jejunostomy tube. Due to the large amount of contamination, the plan was to perform a definitive reconstruction at a later point once the patient recovered from his sepsis.